seem to have lived through this, the strongest earthquake in 140 years, John. Look at all of that, and it's not over yet because we've got the eclipse earthquake coming up on Monday. As Deborah Ross was telling us, it's going to be a transformative experience for anybody who is in the area of Georgia. Give an all praise to Yahweh Bashim. Shalom. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash. I'm going to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone and Ruwell. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. No, as in this gospel, we're all lifting up the standard of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Uh, this is just a quick lesson through the spirit. Um, the video was sent to me by the uh, elder brother, Omawan Gabar, out of the main camp. And um, I was actually looking at it over the weekend, and I believe they had a more profound footage of it uh, on YouTube, but I can't seem to go through and find it. Um, but regardless of it, man, he made, he said something about an eclipse earthquake. As we know that we had an earthquake of 4.8 that hit the tri-state area last week. And, um, you know, they said millions of people felt that earthquake and people was pretty much shocked because it's not very common, but it does happen. But yet they made significance and stated, oh, well, you know, April the 8th, 4.8 on, on a scale. And then you had Lebanon, uh, New Jersey that was the epicenter of it all but what stands out is the fact that this guy mentioned he said the, the eclipse earthquake so what did he mean by that okay if this was just a slip of the tongue or you know is he alluding to something that uh it's possible getting ready to happen because you know we've been seeing signs we've been seeing uh all types of judgment from your how about shimmy how shy taking place on this planet earth and we believe that this eclipse is just another sign and the heavens that the Most High is going to use in order to punish the wicked, because we know that Esau, with his witchcraft, his sorcery, you know, he's going to engage in a lot of ritualistic activities. We know that he's opening up, uh, what well, he's starting back up, what he calls CERN, which is the hydro collider, which splits atoms uh, within milliseconds to open up wormholes, basically many big bangs. And, you know, they're, they're shooting rockets at the eclipse. It's like all types of, of, of just wickedness that this man is conjuring up because you know the left hand side so he mentioned a, a eclipse earthquake but we just have to wait and see because you know like he said man you know you how about shimmy how about is in control but nonetheless it says uh was that a slip of the tongue or their tongue falling upon themselves and you know sometimes with these tv anchormen sometimes they go off script or sometimes they actually reveal the agenda at hand because you know the spirit of you how about shimmy how shy puts it on them to do so all right, so with that being said, man, um, I'm going to see if I can find a YouTube video of that clip. Uh, let's see. We may be able to put it up. Cause I'm sure a brother caught it, but Eclipse Earthquake. Let me see something. Because everybody is on the edge. Everybody's is gearing up to, to, to watch this eclipse. Like right now, it's happening right now. Like I can see that the... The horizon is going darker <clears throat> you know the sun is completely out but it's getting darker you know about a second because you know this is when we're, we're in the midst of it you know so uh let me find and see if that guy made mention of it which they probably took it down it is not really important you know at the end of the day but regardless of it you know i found that kind of kind of ironic that he mentioned an eclipse earthquake like why would you sit up there and say that if that wasn't something that they were conjuring up because they were stating that um the new Madrid fault line, okay, which Missouri, uh, parts of Oklahoma, Missouri sits, well, mainly Missouri, you have something just called New Madrid, Missouri, which sits directly on the New Madrid fault line, which I believe the last time that uh, earthquake erupted was back in 18, 11, and 12, and they said that we're pretty much overdue for an earthquake, man. So, hey, they say keep your eyes on the New Madrid, <clears throat> you know? So, 
It's a lot of bugs out here. But anyway, so let's get a couple of precepts. It wasn't going to be a long lesson. So this is the book of Job 18. And I'm going to start at verses. Uh, let's start at verses 5. It says, Yea, the light of the wicked should be put out, and the spark of his fire should not shine. And a light should be dark in his tabernacle, and his candle should be put out with him, going into his new real order. Okay, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is going to bring an end to this man's kingdom before he's able to fully establish the NWO. And the reason says, The steps of him, or the steps of his strength, should be straightened, and his own counsel should cast him down. Okay, because now you got, like, let's go here, right? You got this guy, Steve Ram. He uploaded Solar Eclipse, Prophecy, State of Emergency. Then you got this guy by the name of uh, Full Spectrum Survival, which I, you know, I watch a lot of his videos. I feel like his videos are quite informative. What are the chances? Oh my god. Get in the car! And you know what? They got the actual early screening of this movie tonight at 7 o'clock and it's packed. Okay, so we in those times, all right? But this guy here, Full Spectrum Survival, says nationwide alerts going out. People are freaking out, okay? People are talking about having food supplies for, for two weeks. Make sure you have water, um, you know, the National Guard, terrorist attacks. And, I mean, people are just bugging all the fuck out, okay? Because they're making more of this than what it... I mean, in, eventually, I mean, in, in, in retrospect, you can say, well, you know, they may be onto something. Because in regards to this, it does make sense that things will happen. But we're not telling you that nothing's going to happen today. And even if something does happen today, it's going to be more on the lines of something through the spirit. Okay, it's going to be more of municipalities or principalities at work here. Okay, you ain't going to see some troops paragliding out of the air and declaring martial law in your city today. No, but things happening in the spirit because we know that the left hand is at, is, 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 is at control. Well, not in control, but we know that the left hand is in operation now. All right, but it reads here, it says the steps of his strength <clears throat> should be straightened and his own counsel should cast him down. Because like I said, man, these people, they're going into a... Uh, 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 that forecasts people are, are exposing them, you know. Like I just showed you two examples of, of, of Edomites exposing other Edomites because they know that something is wrong with the powers to be. You see, and the men of the Lord, the prophets, we've been speaking on this thing, we've been prophesying on this thing, you know, speaking on this thing through the spirit, you know, telling you that look, things are going to start happening on the planet Earth, World War Three, which pretty much now America is on high alert because they're expecting. Some type of retaliation from Iran due to what happened between the Israelis and the Iranians now, you know. So therefore, everybody is on high alert from, from what's getting ready to go down. <clears throat> you know, like all these heat, like I'm looking outside now, and these people there are literally out here waiting on this eclipse, not knowing that this foretells the end of their fucking kingdom. You know? So that being said, man, these people are in for a rude awakening. But it reads, it says, the stuff of his strength should be straightened and his own counsel should cast him down. It says, for he was cast into a net by his own feet and he walked upon a snare, a trap. Okay? It's a trap because Esau Edom, he's... He, <laughs> and this shows you how the other nations are attaching their beliefs to, to, to idols because we're in the scriptures that say we're supposed to worship the sun and the moon. Okay? Like right now I'm looking and it's getting dark out. I mean, it's not completely dark. But it's like a it's like it's like smog over the sun, you know. And I'm not looking at the sun directly because I don't have glasses, but I can see it from my living room. Like, oh yeah, this is what it is, you know. And we can see how about Shimi how shy at work, man, you know. But it says here, for he is cast into a net by his own feet, and he walketh upon a snare, and a gent shall take him by the hill, and a robber shall prevail against him, man. Okay, because how shy is coming to, to to take them down, and it says the snare is laid for him in the ground. And a trap for him in the way. Like when you watch them old Tom and Jerry cartoons, they put the little bear claw out of sight and now you walk into it and you capture it. And this is basically what this man is doing. Okay, he's doing all this <clears throat> conundrum of wickedness just to walk himself into a trap because eventually Yahweh Shah is going to meet him with adversity. You know, and we believe that this eclipse is nothing more but another sign that the Lord is speeding up the prophecies. Okay, and it says here, terror should make him afraid on every side. Hey, they're talking about an impending terror attack from Iran and were these particular nationals, which we believe that America is going to be behind it. OK, coincidentally, another bridge loses its power. I mean, another barge loses power before it was actually able to uh, hit the bridge. And I believe that was like in the New York area. And then also down in Oklahoma, you had a barge that stuck a bridge as well. Now, it didn't do any significant damages, but nonetheless, 
these barges are hitting these bridges all of a sudden. But yet people are still writing them off like, oh, well, you know, it's just a coincidence. No, man, something is very well happening in your con in your world. You know, and it says in his terror should make him afraid on every side and should drive him to his feet. And his strength should be hunger bidden and destruction should be ready at his side. And it should devour the strength of his skin. Even a firstborn of death should devour his strength, which is Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, so you fucking devils are through. There ain't nothing you can do about it because, hey, the cat is out the bag. You exposed. All right, Psalm 64, and I'm going to start at verses uh, 5. It says, they encourage themselves in the evil matter and they commune of laying snares privately and they say, who shall see them? Okay, it says they search out iniquities and they accomplish a diligent search. So, hey, he's talking about an eclipse uh, earthquake, but nonetheless, they could be the ones that's bringing it through what they call heart. Okay, they man-made machines that they can use to disrupt the, the seismic activities of the earth. Okay, causing storms like it's a movie called Geostorm. They came out back in 2017, which dealt with basically uh, AI and weather, man. How they can able to control the weather and weaponize it. And this is what Esau has been doing. Okay, so I'm waiting on the time that when these attacks and these particular uh, phenomenons will start happening without any explanation behind it. Okay, like right now, we're able to explain things through the spirit because we know that Esau Edom has his hand in it through the power of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai. But things are going to get real supernatural because, hey, you may have a, we may have another eclipse like this at the end of the year and it may not even be detected on forecast because Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai is going to actually bring him. You know, you may go one morning, one night, you may wake up and go outside. It may be a blood moon out there and Esau knew nothing about it. You know, like the unexpected plagues of Babylon, man. You know, in Egypt, it happens. And it says, and they encourage themselves in an evil matter and a commune of lane snares privately. They say, who shall see them? And the reason says they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. And both the inward thought of every one of them in their heart is deep. Yeah, they mindset. They got think tanks. But the power should shoot at them with an arrow, and suddenly they should be wounded. So they should make their own tongue <coughs> to fall upon themselves, and all that see them may flee away. <coughs> because like I said, man, you got Edomites exposing Edomites now. Okay, like a good show of that is, is the show Redacted. You know, with this guy, uh, Clayton and Natalie Morris. Okay, every day they're bringing out some type of information on the deep state, which I believe it. I believe they. I believe they're CIA. I believe they're insiders because they have a lot of information to uh, about what's going on, you know. And they seem to know the ins and outs, you know. But nonetheless, hey, they 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 bring it out. Okay, it says the truth of the the truth is coming out in the Baltimore City cyber attack. Okay, the WF plan to remake Canada just scored a big win. Holy shit, Kosovo is about to become the next Ukraine and Serbia is furious. Okay, the devastating blow to the WEF and this is how we beat them. Okay, you got this guy, Cotton Swab, in there. But nonetheless, you know, this is what's happening, man. Okay, Esau is exposing himself. You see? So, hey, call all your how about Shimei Shah. This devil, he's through. All right, and for you other heathens out there, this is uh, one last precept. Because the scriptures say, we're not supposed to be dismayed at the signs of heaven. You know, these heathens are literally bugging out and they're just, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Yeah, it's a cool, it's a cool phenomenon, but we ain't worshiping it, man. Okay, but nonetheless, I'm glad that it's happening because now we know our, our Heavenly Father is getting ready to turn up. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah 10 and 2. It says, thus says the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, nor be dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them, right? And when you go into that word dismayed, it goes into being fearful. You see? So we not supposed to be dismayed at this shit, man. Okay, because it's getting dark now. I mean, it looked like literally like a dust cloud is over the sun. But this is basically the conundrum of the earth and the moon and the sun all coming into one alignment. And then they're going to be shooting rockets at the fucking eclipse, man. And then CERN is getting ready to be started up. So they're getting ready to do some left hand shit, man. Okay, but we ain't worried about it because we got the spirit of our, of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai resting upon us. So have at it, man. You know, do your thing, E. All right. One last precept. This is the book of uh, Psalms 96. And I'm going to start at verses 2. It says, sing it to the Lord and bless his name. Show forth his salvation from day to day. And declare glory among the heathen, his wonders among all people. And hey, this is nothing more but a wonder of the Heavenly Father. Okay. But our salvation is going to be the biggest one. And it says, for the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He's to be feared above all gods. Like here the Lord brings the eclipse and he brings the, the signs of heaven. But yet people worship the signs instead of the creator, man. All right. It says for all the gods of the nations are idols. 
but the Lord made the heavens, okay? So, yeah, your eclipse god, your Egyptian gods, they're all idols, man. Okay, they have no life, they have no power in them. Now, you can conjure up power through left-hand deities for these particular idols, but an idol of itself has no power. You know, like you can have a statue, it's, it's powerless, but if you have a, a, a entity or a spirit that assumes the role of that statue or they somehow possess it then it could become a, a, a entity but regardless of it they don't have power over the heavenly father all right it says honor honor and majesty are before him strength and beauty are in his sanctuary okay so give unto the lord all ye kindreds of the people and give unto the lord glory and strength and give unto the lord the glory due unto his name and bring an offering to come into his courts man okay so we supposed to worship yahweh bashim yahweh shai not no damn sun and moon and stars, man. All right, so with that, call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Lord, will you edify the